to slow down Tommy Frazier. Easy, Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Tommy Frazier is an excellent player trying to win the Heisman Trophy. If Coy Detmer were playing in this game, I would definitely be going with Colorado. Colorado is an outstanding team. Rick Neuheisel is good. So therefore, can't hold on to it. Got to go Nebraska. Big Reds defense. Please take that off the rest of the day. We're here a long time. All right, so what? <laughs> we'll be just here. kidding. The Huskers, their usual low-key selves as they get ready for battle. Colorado trying to also take a more low-key approach. The Buffaloes guys may throw 50 to 55 passes today. They'll use the pass to try to set up the run. They have to be conscious of the pass rush. Huskers, nine sacks last week against Kansas State. Yeah, those passes better be very quick timing patterns where it's three steps, get rid of the football, or else John Hessler's going to have a long day. I realize they need to throw the ball against Nebraska, but that defense that Chris was talking about is outstanding up front. They have shown and proven time after time that whenever, whenever somebody tries to throw the ball against them, that they are going to get to the quarterback. Last week against Kansas State is a prime example of that. They had nine sacks against Kansas State, and it's not by just one guy. There are a number of different players on Nebraska's defense that can get to the quarterback. The pressure on the quarterback allows the secondary to look good. You don't have to cover them that long because of the sacks and the pressure from the front line. Well, Craig, the first five minutes of this ball game is very important. Nebraska has an interesting stat right here. They jump on teams early. In their seven games this year, the end of the third quarter, the score has been Nebraska 45, opponents 10. That's why Colorado can't afford to get behind these guys and must play hard at the beginning of the second half also. All right, guys, Colorado's going to make an unusual entrance. New Hazard will bring his team down through the student section, accompanied by Samoan war chanting and drumming. They got that going for them. They also got Alfie, John Saunders' dog, thinks Colorado has the upset. What do you say? Well, I tell you what, I like Colorado. I think they'll score. But I'll tell you what, when it comes down to a clutch situation, Craig, the option play with Tommy Fraser coming down, throwing long passes, I think Colorado is beaten by Nebraska by a two touchdowns. Yeah, I think, you know, you look at the game, Tommy Fraser's going to play an outstanding ball game. He's proven that he can do that. But it really also comes down to this point here. Matt Russell for Colorado has to play an emotional game. The Colorado crowd must stay in it for the entire four quarters like they did against Texas A&M. But with it all said and done, while they're hollering and can't hear me, I'm going to say Nebraska wins the ball game. Colorado needs a perfect special teams performance. We're back here after this game and before our primetime.